Okay, so get ready for this one because today we're doing a deep dive into something really shocking. Um, carnivorous squirrels. Yeah, forget those cute little fluffy tailed creatures you see eating acorns and seeds. Right. I mean, who would have thought? Researchers have actually documented California ground squirrels hunting and killing and even eating voles. Voles? We eat those tiny little meadow mice. I always thought squirrels were herbivores. Well, they're generally considered to be mostly herbivores, but this research is really showing a different side to their eating habits. I mean, this is pretty intense. Yeah, they observed squirrels in Briona's Regional Park engaging in some serious hunting behavior. Wow, so we're not talking about just like accidentally eating an insect or two here? No, no, this is active predation. That's incredible. Yeah, the researchers actually documented squirrels chasing down these voles, killing them, and even decapitating them. And uh, this wasn't just a one-time thing either. Really? Yeah, they observed this happening pretty much every day over several weeks. That's kind of unsettling, I gotta say. It definitely changes how I think about these cute little creatures we see in the park. It does raise some questions about why this is happening, though. Yeah, like why are they suddenly turning into these ferocious predators? Well, one theory is that it might be connected to a population boom in voles this year. Oh, so there's just tons of voles around for them to eat. Exactly. The abundance of these little rodents might be giving the squirrels an easy and readily available food source. So it's like a giant buffet for them. That's one way to think about it. But, you know, squirrels are technically omnivores. Oh, right. They'll eat like nuts and berries and stuff, but also... Right. They've been known to eat insects, bird eggs, and even, you know, meat scraps that people leave behind. Okay, but this is the first time they've been observed actively hunting mammals. Right. Yes, this is the first time they've been seen hunting and killing adult mammals in the wild. Wow, this is groundbreaking stuff. So does this mean we should be worried about them turning on us next? Um, I wouldn't be too worried about that. Okay. The voles they're hunting are much smaller than the squirrels themselves. Right, right. <laughs> and plus, squirrels are generally pretty wary of humans. They usually just run away, right? Exactly. They prefer to avoid any kind of confrontation. That's reassuring. So it seems like this behavior is mostly driven by the fact that there's all this easy prey around, mm. and the squirrels are just trying to survive. Precisely. And you know, this kind of dietary flexibility could actually be a key to their success. How so? It allows them to adapt to different environments and take advantage of new food sources when they become available. So it's not just about survival, it's about thriving. Exactly. And this could give them a real advantage, especially as human development continues to change natural habitats. That's a good point. So this new research is really changing how we understand squirrel behavior. It is. It shows how they might be adapting to the changes happening around them. It also makes me wonder about the long-term impacts of this behavior. Like, could this hunting strategy become more common even when vol numbers aren't as high? That's a really interesting question, and it's something researchers are definitely going to be looking into. It's fascinating to think about. It'll be interesting to see if this behavior gets passed down to future generations of squirrels and how that might affect the whole ecosystem. So what started as this observation of squirrels acting a little strange has turned into a much bigger story about adaptation and evolution. It really has. It highlights how much we still have to learn about the natural world, even when it comes to animals we think we know pretty well. It's a reminder that nature is full of surprises and that even seemingly harmless animals can have a wild side. Absolutely. This discovery really challenges our assumptions and makes us look at the world with fresh eyes. This is why I love doing these deep dives. There's always something unexpected that makes us question what we thought we knew. Exactly. It's all about going deeper and exploring the complexities of nature, no matter how strange or unsettling they might seem. And in this case, it's led us to the unexpected world of meat-eating squirrels who knew those cute little critters could be so ferocious. It's a good reminder that nature is full of contradictions and that even the most familiar animals can still surprise us. This discovery isn't just about some weird squirrel behavior. Um, you know, this actually has some pretty big implications for the squirrel's reproductive success. Right, we talked a bit about that earlier, about how this diet full of vole protein could be giving them a boost in their breeding. Exactly. Squirrels are what's called income breeders, meaning their reproduction is directly tied to how much food they can get. So basically, more food equals more baby squirrels. Exactly. And a diet that's packed with protein and nutrients like they're getting from the voles can mean they have larger litters and healthier babies. So these squirrels are fueling a population boom with vole protein. 
It's a pretty effective strategy, and this whole dietary shift could have a huge impact on the squirrel population in Brainy's Regional Park. So how does this all affect the dynamics of the whole squirrel population? Well, think about it. If the squirrels in this area are having more and healthier babies all the time, it could give them a big advantage over other squirrel populations where voles aren't as plentiful. So they're becoming like super squirrels, all thanks to their vole diet. It's definitely a possibility. And that brings up another interesting question. How does this impact the whole ecosystem? Yeah, what kind of ripple effects could we see from this? Well, if the squirrel population in Brionis explodes, it could put a lot of pressure on other species that rely on the same resources. It's like a chain reaction where one change in behavior sets off a whole cascade of consequences. <laughs> exactly. It shows how interconnected everything in nature is. Even something as seemingly small as a change in one animal's behavior can have a big impact. We tend to think of squirrels as pretty harmless, but this really shows that they can play a major role in shaping their environment. It all comes back to the importance of continuing to research and observe the natural world. Right, we can't just assume that we know everything about even the most common animals because there's always more to discover. And those new discoveries can change how we understand not only animal behavior, but the complex relationships that make up ecosystems. Speaking of new discoveries, I'm curious to know if this hunting behavior is unique to these squirrels and bryonies, or if it's happening in other places too. That's a great question, and it's something researchers are really interested in figuring out. They're expanding their observations to, to other areas to see how widespread this behavior might be. So the search for killer squirrels continues. And it's a story that reminds us that even in our own backyards, there are mysteries waiting to be uncovered. That's what makes these deep dives so fascinating. They challenge our ideas and reveal the hidden complexities of the natural world. And in this case, it's given us a deeper understanding of a creature we thought we knew. The seemingly innocent squirrel turns out to be much more complex and adaptable than we ever imagined. It's a real eye-opener to see squirrels in this new light. It makes you wonder what other secrets are hiding out there in the animal kingdom. There's no doubt that there are still countless wonders to discover. And as we continue to explore and learn, we gain a deeper appreciation for the intricate web of life that surrounds us. Yeah, it really makes you think what other surprising things animals might be doing that we just haven't noticed yet. It's true, there's so much about animal behavior that we're still learning about. And as we keep observing and researching, we're bound to find even more unexpected discoveries. This whole deep dive has definitely changed how I see squirrels. They're not just those cute little guys running around in the backyard anymore. Right. It's a reminder that nature is always full of surprises and that even the most familiar creatures can still have secrets. And those secrets can totally change how we understand the natural world. This discovery really highlights how important it is to keep doing scientific research. We need to keep asking questions, making observations, and challenging our assumptions about everything around us. Because the more we learn, the more we realize how much we still don't know. This whole thing with the carnivorous squirrels is a perfect example of that. It's a story that's really just beginning, and I'm excited to see where it goes from here. Me too. Yeah. It's a good reminder that there's always something new to learn about the natural world, and that's what makes these deep dives so fascinating. So until next time, keep exploring, keep asking questions, and keep an eye out for those killer squirrels. Yeah. You never know what you might find out there.